Hey, how you doing? This is Dan Lamb Pro. Make sure you go over to Steppers Express, youtube.com, hit that subscribe and that like button. Today, our tutorial is on an overview of how to make a playlist use act as an automatic switcher in Telestream Wirecast. Let's get started. I did a tutorial, a live tutorial, where I was switching between three camera angles without doing any manual strip, uh, switching in Wirecast uh, uh, Telestream. Someone asked me how I was doing that without having to hit my ATM Pro uh, program buttons. I, and it's not programmed in the ATM Mini Pro, so how was I doing that? So I'm gonna give you a quick overview of exactly how that was done. So. Say you want to act between three cameras as a switcher in your Wirecast presentation. Go down here and hit this plus button. New shot. Find shots in your list and hit new playlist shot. Hit add. So now we got a new playlist shot. Now double click that playlist shot and we're going to do the same thing in here. We're going to add a new shot. We're going to add a new shot and not a playlist shot. We're going to do it once and then we're going to do it twice. Another new shot. So we got two new shots in our playlist menu. We're going to go back to right here where it says main shot list. Now this is our playlist right here, new playlist. Now I'm going to go up here to my first camera where my switcher is or my black magic is. I'm going to copy that black magic. I'm going to go back in, double click my, my playlist. I'm going to go to this first shot and I'm going to hit paste. Now we've pasted that black magic into that first shot. Now we're going to go back to our main shot list and this second camera, as you see, says Facebook, FaceTime HD. I'm going to copy that at the top, copy. We're going to go back into this playlist on that second shot. We're going to hit paste. Now, this is not going to automatically switch between these two depending on how I time my playlist. So a lot of people don't know inside of your playlist shots, at the bottom right, right where this, this cursor is, I want you to put your cursor there and, and just click that one time. And you will see in this list of different things that you can choose for a playlist, you can click modify duration. Click that and you see these parameters. Right now it's set to 10 seconds. I'm gonna put that on 15 seconds, and that set is my default. I'm gonna click Apply to All, and that says OK. Now, in Wirecast Telestream, this is automatically going to loop. This playlist is automatically going to loop. So now, when I go back to my main shot, and I go live, let me make sure my background is still here, and I'm gonna move yeah, I'm going to move this playlist up to my top tier because I want this background and my playlist to operate together. Now, when I go from preview to live, which you see me click, we, we're going to do it without the, without the titles. You're going to see that that switcher and that FaceTime camera is going to alternate every 15 seconds. See? And it's on a cut. So it's gonna alternate every 15 seconds. So if I change that view in my switcher, it's gonna also be part of that alternation. So when we switch in between our shots, it's gonna alternate between these. Now, for me to get that cut out of there, or that main cut, we can go back into our playlist, go back to either one of these. No, you really don't have to go to either one of these. Go down to the bottom, you got some more parameters down at the bottom of that playlist, and look in this list of different things, and now I'm gonna hit cross dissolve. Now I'm gonna go back to my main shot list, and you're gonna see that that playlist now is gonna cross dissolve between those cameras at random, based on the default setting that you saw me set. Now I'm gonna copy my title because that is the way that I have this design. So those are sitting behind that particular uh, that particular title, but we're gonna do it inside of our playlist. So I don't put it on each shot instead of just on the playlist because I wanted to cover 
the camera's the same as everything else. I want everything to be uniform. So now you'll see as we rotate between those two shots that I can manually switch between my two shots in my switcher. But this particular shot or this particular uh, rotation is going to happen on its own. So between the FaceTime and the switcher, those two are going to every 15 seconds change based off of that playlist modification on its own. So if I had, say, four cameras and I had four shots in the playlist with four different angles on those shots set at a duration of 15 seconds, they're going to exchange between those four shots without me touching anything. And if I had a switcher, say I had a switcher with eight other shots in it, and those four alternated between each other, and I changed an angle in my switcher manually, those shots are going to be included in that transition. And that is something that you can do in Wirecast Telestream uh, playlists. So it's very effective, and there's some other parameters. If you double click that playlist, you'll see at the bottom, it's a number of different parameters that you can use inside of Wirecast that you may not be aware of. And most of us who have been using Wirecast for a while are aware of some of these things and you can modify them and it's just so many things you can use. So if you just double click, you don't even have to double click, just click on here. You can have source, you can have change the audio, you can replay ISO, you can do so many things inside of a playlist, the same as you can do on the main timeline that it's not even funny. So these are just some of the things that we may not know about in Wirecast Telestream, but this is something that you can do with switchers. So you can go between your cameras on switchers and change. Now I'm gonna change that angle manually. So you see that manually change, but it's still in rotation. And now I'm gonna change that back. So when it comes back, as you saw, it changed to the one that's in the switcher. So it doesn't matter, it's still gonna rotate back to that FaceTime camera automatically in the playlist. Hey, I'm just chapping on, I'm gonna end it right here, and that's pretty much it. That's how you uh, use a playlist as a switcher in Telestream Wirecast. Till next time, I'm Dan Land Pro. Make sure you YouTube.com, uh, Steppers Express, hit that subscribe and that like button. Peace.